The next challenge for the sweep is to create a sweep as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, but we're going to use essentially guide rails. And this will help us to create this organic shape as you can see on the screen. What I've got is a sketch like so. I've used an arc to create this curve. This could be a straight line or it could also be another spine. And then this side I've created a spine using the spine tool. I'm just going to click on a green tick and you can see what I've got here. Now, what I want to do this time is I want to create a circle on this sort of plane, which runs, as you can see, across here. So I'm going to click on sketch and I'm going to click on here. Now, if I click the normal circle, it's going to be a little bit tricky if I just twist this here to connect it to both ends. I could use um, some of the constraints. The quick way of doing it is go into circle and use a two point. So what that happens there is a click on this point here and that point and that automatically creates a circle between two points. So again I could have used a circle and then selected the point and the edge and use okay some of the constraints within here but that's another option you can use. So again if I show you circle two point so it allows me to click between two points to create a circle. I'm going to click this tick. So it's going to turn off the origins. And what we've got here is a circle and two basically guides what we're going to use. So if I go up to sweep, and this time we're going to select the option of path and guide rail. So the profile is this one here, and the path it we're going to follow is this one here. And what we're going to use, so it's got to, this would normally just go along that path and then end at the end, and you'd have sort of a, a curved tube, I suppose. But what we're going to do is use the guide rail and click that. And as you can see, what's happening here is taking that circle, it's gone along this path, and then the guide rail, okay, allows the circle to sort of merge along this path here which is really good at creating sort of these curvy shapes. If you're doing something like some handlebars or something like that, this is one technique to use. And in here, you've got a few different options. OK, if you go to full extent, then you'll see what happened there is it brings the sketch right up to the extent of the points. OK, if you go perpendicular, it basically creates a perpendicular 90 degree OK creation between these points here. Distance. I just uh, zoom out distance if I click 0.5. Again, that's the distance as it goes along the guide rail. So 0.5 is 50% of that path. Now, can you see as I drag that up there, that number changes. So the higher that number up to one will create that shape. Now, as you can see, by just using a circle and a path and this guide rail, I've created a very sort of curvy 3D shape. Now what I'm going to do is click on join and click OK. Then what I can also do, which is really important, is if I want to edit and edit any of this, I could always go back in and I can go into my sketch here, click on edit, and I think right what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that one out a bit. Click the green tick, and as you can see, the 3D shape has updated. The final challenge for the sweep is to create a twisted sweep, as you can see in the top left hand corner. So we're going to have a go at creating that design now in Fusion. So we're going to jump over to Fusion, and in Fusion, you can see I've created two sketches. So if we go to this sketch here, we've created an ellipse, and that ellipse is 30 millimeters high and 80 millimeters in length. So we dimension that 40 halfway. We've then created, if we look at the origins, so that ellipse is created on that sort of front work plane. And in the top work plane, I created a line and that line dimension, okay, is 200 millimeters. Okay, I'm just gonna turn off the origin so you see what's happening. We're gonna go up to sweep. We're gonna make sure we've got single sweep selected. Click the profile 
and then click the path. So the path is the straight line. So normally that would take that ellipse, let's go straight up to there. And because I've got one on there, that's 100% along that line. If I type in twist angle of 90, what you'll see is it'll take that uh, ellipse there on the line and twist it by 90 degrees. Okay. And if I then come back and type in 180, you can see it's basically twisted that along this path, okay, but twisted it to 180 degrees, okay, around. And you see, because um, it's an ellipse, you can see we've got an ellipse on the back of that, but it's, it's, it's twisted along 180 degrees. And again, I can type in different angles here until I've got my desired twist. In this case, I want it to go 360. So basically, it's twisted on here, 360 degrees, right on that path. And what I've got there, once Fusion catches up, it's a twisted shape. And that was, you know, quite easy to do. Very simple to do, but it creates this very complex twisted shape. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.